This is a picture of a Tonkin snub-nosed monkey. There are only about a hundred of them left in the world. So a group of scientists wanted to capture them, at least one, a lot, of course. And so what they did is they devised a trap. And the trap was a bottle with an extremely long neck. And they hung up this bottle with very strong, almost invisible wires to uh, two trays. And in it, they put the type of nuts that they knew this monkey liked. And sure enough, one of these monkeys came by and put his hand into the bottle to grab the booty, the nuts. But when he tried to pull his hand out with the fist being bigger than it was when it went in, he was trapped. He couldn't. Basically, the monkey had to make a choice. Leave the booty and pull his arm out or get trapped, which is what happened. And they, they caught him. The point, of course, is that so often, we are not willing to give up something which has always worked, in this case, aiming at obedience instead of responsibility. We cling to things that has always worked clearly if after they stop working. And the reason, of course, is society has changed and kids today are different than they were many years ago for a number of reasons of which we've talked about earlier. So... Let me share with you how I learned this at a relatively young age. When I say learning it, I mean learning I had to let go to reach out. I must have been in the fourth grade, as I recall. And in our playground, we had monkey bars. And I went up the monkey bar, and I I made the mistake of looking down. It seemed like it was 30 feet beneath me. And I literally froze. My knuckles were, were getting white. And I have no idea how or why, but I started to swing. And as I started to swing, I had enough momentum to reach out. And of course, it went across the monkey bars. The point that I learned was that in order to move ahead, so often you need to let go. And as long as we continue to use counterproductive approaches, we're not going to be nearly as effective as we could be. We need to let go with, for practices that have always worked with former generations, but are now working today. Specifically, coercion. Coercion simply does not prompt people to be positive. And it limits their choices. And you cut out the key idea of how do you have people change, and that's by prompting them to reflect.